Hi, welcome to today's 3D print. We're going to install goodies today. I put up a Thingiverse link to a remix of the three essential mods that you need for the CR10. The ultimate leveling knobs, the heat bed strain relief, and the fan remix. These are the three mods you need to make, that you really should make. This replaces this little plastic bit here, and all it does is change the deflection angle so that the air coming off the porch cooler actually blows to the part and not onto your hot end. The leveling knobs are self-explanatory, they are just absolutely amazing. Um, the, it, it is, I wish, if I ever make my own 3D printer, I will guarantee that my frame is large enough to allow me to put large knobs like this on the printer, it is so amazing. It's so easy to just touch that knob and turn it. And then of course the strain relief goes on the back here underneath the spring so it's not touching the heat bed and your cable goes into here and you put zip ties through here to hold your part on. So there's actually two little slots here and this is as it came off the printer by the way. I made no changes, no cleanup at all and it just goes right in there like that. Your zip tie and it holds your cable in place. Then you have a little decorative cover you can put on if you want. And that's just... Oh wow, that fits really nice. <laughs> but that just snaps right on there. So you have a little... Just a decorative cover so it looks pretty. You don't really need it, but whatever. I leave mine off. But those are the parts, so we're going to do a little video of me installing them. So the first thing you need to do is you need to remove all the parts to your heat bed. So there's your spring, your screw, and your leveling knob. Um, I really need to find a source for these, because these are perfect in every way, shape, and form. First, they're countersunk, and the holes in the heat better countersunk, so it's flat and flush. The springs are what I call flat springs. They're not round metal, they're flattened metal. So the springs don't try to push sideways like they do on most printers. And also, the screw is just a little bit smaller than the actual spring hole in the middle of the spring. So, it's not tight. So there's, there's play, but it can't move much. And that is that right there makes a huge difference in maintaining a consistent level. Anybody knows a source to buy these springs and these knobs? I want it, because I want to buy like a shit ton of them and replace everything on all my printers with these things. Now, to put the leveling knobs in, you um, have to basically jam your existing knob into place, but let's install the Y brace since I'm here and ready to do that now. Where are those bits? There it is. Okay. So this goes in here. This goes on the bottom. This goes on the top. So I don't know if you can see that. Yes. Alright, so this goes underneath obviously. This goes on top like this and points out the back. And then your screw and spring go through it. So put the spring on put the Y brace on, the strain relief, then push it through the hole, and then put the knob on. It actually, depending on your fingers, it might be easier to actually put the knob in place and turn the screw until it grabs. Just because now you don't have to try to figure out how you're going to spin that from underneath. That could be a pain in the butt. There we go. That one's in place. And there is our strain relief for the heat bed cable, right there. Okay, now, next one. This part is um, tricky. Not really tricky, just, you know, you have to do it. Okay, what you need is a knife. Usually this, um, uh, my the G-code I posted is corrected, but this one was over extruding a little bit. So you gotta skin out a little bit of the plastic right here in the center. Just a little bit, because the knob, when it goes in, you can see there's little indentations for these little knobs on, uh, knurls on the knob. It fits in there, and the knob should actually push up and through. See how it sticks out? It pushes right in perfectly, okay? And then you install the next one. So, heat bed, spring, through the hole on the heat bed. Spin the knob on. You're not seeing this. 
now you're seeing this. So screw, spring, through the hole, spin the knob on, don't tighten it because you got to have enough flex to be able to put the rest on. So let's do them all real quick. Just take away a little bit of the plastic if it needs it. Yours might not need it. It doesn't take much. Very, very little. Okay. Again, push your knob in. It should pop out the other side. Just like that. Nice friction fit. This needs to stick out because that keeps this from rubbing on the plate, which will increase your friction. You don't want that. Get in there. There it goes. It's just easier for me to do the back ones with the screw just because it's hard for me to get my hands underneath there. I got big hands. There it goes. Now I can feel it. Spin that bugger on. Spin that bugger on. And then last one. Again. Pop that in there, it goes in all the way flush and the it sticks out this end. That's important, it needs to stick out. Screw through the spring, through the other plate, put the knob in place, once it threads, spin it. I'm just tightening it up pretty good. I know it's gonna have to be pretty tight. You can see, this is how easy it is to mess with these. You literally just take your finger and just turn it like this. Because of the little knobs, you can just touch it like this and just turn it. It is so easy. Okay. Is that how I like it? Okay, it lines up on the bed, that's nice. All right, there it is. Time for some zip ties. If I have any. What did I do with those zip ties? Here we go. I knew I had some came with it. Okay. So, you feed it through the slots that are built into the print. It should slide right through. If you have a CR10, it should print just as perfectly as mine did. And then you tighten them up. That's in the way. And this should give you guys a better view. Nice and tight. You actually do want to squeeze it down pretty tight because the idea is that the zip tie will keep the part from moving so that this cable is what moves and not the actual solder connection on the board. That's what a strain relief does. Strain relief doesn't relieve the strain from the cable. It relieves the strain from the hard point where the wire solders to the board because that's the part that's gonna crack over time. Okay, the wire itself is made for bending. That's not a big deal. It's when the connection from the wire to the hard point is tweaked and torqued and eventually, especially because it's heat cycled, that will eventually crack. That's the point of a strain relief. There we go. The strain relief is self-aligning. It actually comes up high enough to touch the heat bed right here on the back, so it aligns itself. So you don't have to worry about that. I like to take the cable and push it in a little bit so I have a little slack right here just to make sure if this gets tweaked a little bit. It's not tweaking the connection there. Zip ties are in place. Slap the cover on. 
and that's it. Level with the plate, you're done. Put my Print and Z back on. Glass plate. Now the glass plate is slightly smaller than the um, print bed. So try to align it left and right evenly. Front and back evenly. Otherwise your nozzle might actually try to print off the edge a little bit. It's not a big deal. That's usually skirt or something like that. But you know, might as well get it right. Binder clips on the corners. Of course, this binder clip can't go all the way to the corner because you have your heat bed connections there. But close enough. Okay. That is done. One last mod. Got to replace the little shroud for the fan. Not too big. Even smaller. These can be a little fugly, so be gentle with them. It is very, very easy to strip. You are screwing it directly into the plastic on the fan. So usually getting it out is not a problem, but putting it back in, don't over tighten. You know, don't even turn it until it feels like you've reached the bottom and it's tightened, just stop. loose. And of course it wants to be a pain. Come on. I'm putting a little tension on the plastic part so that the threads will engage it and it'll back out further so I can get my fingers on it. There we go. Okay, so all you're doing is, actually, it looks like they may have updated this part. No, the angle is still too shallow. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Probably not. But the, the angle from the vertical to this flat plane here is steeper on this part here. You can see it on the pink one. But it's, oh, there it is. It's kind of visible. So basically on the stock part, it's more like this. While on the modified part, it's more like this. And so your angle makes the air go down more than across. So it misses the hot end and actually goes to that interface point between the nozzle and the printed part. And that's what you want. So this just fits inside of here like that. As you can see it fits right in. Just like that. And you put your screws in. The part that it came with is actually not bad. It's just um, it's got the wrong angle. That's all. It's a good part. It's printed nice, you know, nothing bad. Remember, just snug. Don't over tighten. You will just crush it. There you go. All done. Fan shroud. Leveling knob. And um, strain relief for the bed. To give you a better view of some of these parts. So here is your fan shroud. Here's your leveling knobs. And here is your strain relief 
for your wires. Here. That's all it is. I hope you find that useful. Links for all of these parts are down below. Link to this filament. This is actually their regular PLA. This is my first time using Esun's regular PLA and it's pretty great. I got no issues with it. And that's their pink. It's a little brighter pink than you're seeing in the video here. It looks a little more like a pale pink in the video, but it actually is more like this pink. And actually it's a pretty close match to my shirt. <laughs> I don't know why it shows up different to camera. Probably something to do with infrared. But um, there you go. My CR10 is now finished. This is an optional part. I'll be printing one of them in pink to match the rest. Um, it doesn't do anything to the printer. It just looks nice. Um, these I consider essential. They actually do something. This improves your part cooling, although the stock is not bad. That takes care of a potential future problem with um, strain relief for your heat bed. And this, my god, this just makes leveling the bed so much easier. Just to, you take these knobs and just move them like that. It's, there's nothing, nothing beats that. So, that's it. You guys have a great day.